What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Grind Force Gaming. Nova here and today we are doing a very quick video on what is the best win faction team to use. We've got Datscat here again from Grind Force Gaming. What's going on Datscat? Oh not a whole lot Nova. How are you man? I'm doing well man. Doing well. Excited Good. to talk about this. So we're actually just going to hop into global operations and inverse world. That way we can easily test this out. So Datscat, who do you think if we are just going to run a full win team, who do you think is like the top four who are the top four fighters that we need to be using yeah i think uh if you're gonna run a mono faction uh a team with the wind you're gonna be looking at cammy chun li guile street poison um and then uh with some alternatives in there with b Zangief and abel uh, yeah. as tank options. Uh, so depending on what you're going to try to be doing, whether you need a tank or you don't need a tank, whether you're going to do single target or AOE, uh, those six characters are, would be who I would swap in and out. I, I think those are the best win faction fighters. Yeah, I would definitely agree with that. So the lineup that you listed is pretty heavily based on single target damage. Um, yeah. I have them pulled in here, so that would look a little something like Cami, Street Poison, Cami... And then you could alternate. You could use Chun-Li for additional armor break damage. You could use uh, Guile if you wanted a little bit heavier AoE because his full AoE on his his third skill. Chun-Li's is only half of it as AoE if you have the Fighter Spirit unlocked. Uh, but he also has uh, the ability to ignore defense with his Saber passive. So you could really do either one of these. I think they both work very well. You have a backup if one of them gets knocked out as well, but you could just also play a manual and alternate based on, you know, kind of what you need because both of them have spatial AoE. So if the enemies are spread out, you might not hit them all. But I think a good option here as well, I mean, because sometimes you do need a tank. And if you're looking at maybe just building a team that's just going to do a lot of damage and have the control, then maybe you'd have Chun-Li... And then you'd have B. Sangief and you could use Guile as well because he functions really well off B. Sangief's second skill. Yeah, so that might suck. look... Oh, go ahead. It, it, well, I was just going to say, B. Sangief's Wild Beast Spin sucks everybody up and then Guile's uh, third skill is very effective because it is yeah. spatial AoE. Uh, and so if you can have that amount of control with the B. Sangief Spin going into that Guile third combo, that that's it's just a really good... Uh, a way to control your fight and play the fight how you intend to play it, uh, right. regardless of what the enemy is doing. And I think that looking at fighters like this are really important for you in the early game and the mid game because they're the most easily attainable. So if you're looking to build really good squads in preparation for the faction towers in Supreme Fist or just any time where maybe having all of one faction might be more beneficial. Maybe some events will come out later where it's good to have something like this. But to be honest with you, if you're looking at this win faction team, and this is why I really wanted to do this video, it's that three of the fighters in here, I mean, really two of them, if you want to break it down, are going to be two of the most important fighters for you going forward in the game. And that's going to be B. Sangief and Street Poison. For sure. Um, I, I think... Both of those two fighters, I think B. Sangeev might be the most important uh, fighter out of all of these fighters, all these six that we've highlighted, uh, simply because of his mechanic, uh, his second skill. Um, it allows you to control the battle, and uh, I, you know, uh, you can have all the damage you want, but if if you don't have a, an amount of control or can't manipulate the battle in your favor, uh, then all the damage in the world just might not do you any good right um so i think b sangeef is 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 the highlight of all of these um now if i i don't know why i would run a single targets mono faction uh a team but if you did the the cami in there is really good for you and then yeah. then i would run the street poison uh guile chun li combo that i mentioned uh in the beginning of this video right. uh but yeah you know i i think b sangeef and street poison are two of the most important fighters. You get Street Poison's crit boosts yep. on her first skill, and B. B. Sangeef's mechanics, and then uh, the other the other characters listed here are really interchangeable as depending on what you're trying to do. Right. 
Yeah. Oh, for sure. And if you did need to like just hit the back line, you could bring in guy if you wanted yep. to. Like you do have options. I think win team is like really versatile. You do have a lot of capabilities with this team just overall. Uh, they work very well together. The problem with building mono faction is you're using the same fodder for every single fighter, so it's going to take you forever. Obviously, you should be branching out in the early game. You should mm -hmm. be working on some flame, some thunder, because it's just you know it's going to work out that way. But this team is is just really good. So I'm I threw in two assists. Uh, we're not really going to get into like assists or assist skills or fighter skills or anything like that because it's just going to make this video too long. But here's just a quick video. I'm going to push this up to two x speed. And you're going to see here B. Sangeef. Oh, well, you can't see the Guile skill because B. Sangeef knocked everybody out all at once. <laughs> <laughs> that was just, uh, yeah, unfortunate circumstance. I wanted to show you guys the him pulling everyone in with the second skill and then showing Guile doing the, the AoE, which hopefully we can accomplish that here. But uh, we might have to do one more because usually these start out a little bit easier and then they get more difficult. So let's just... Let's yeah, maybe try that third or fourth one in that first trial. Um, yeah, that might that might give you the beef on the. End. That's really funny. We want the enemy team to be beefy. I know. I want them to put up a good fight here, so I can show. It's the, it's the only time I've ever wanted that. Right. Uh, maybe this. Maybe this will be the one. Okay. So at least we're gonna see the skill go off, but uh, I think we have we still have to go just play the next one. Okay. So yeah, far, so and. Good. And, and, you know, with, with Abel in there, uh, he's an interesting tank. Uh, he's just an all-around damage soaker. He doesn't really yeah. do anything for you. He's got so, good shielding. His first skill yeah. is good. He's good in assist as well because he provides shield. Oh, here we go. This will be a good opportunity to see this. There we okay, go. Okay, good. Good. There's Guile coming in, hitting everybody with that AoE. He doesn't have yep. any good gear on him or anything. Like, I have not worked on him. He's an A+, plus, so that's why you're not seeing a ton of damage come out of him. Um, whereas my... Chun Li and my B Sangief and my Street Poison are all SSS. So, yeah, I mean, but you see it. You see the point here. You can obviously make some changes as as is needed, but I think that that team will serve you guys very well in the early and mid game, and definitely you should be focusing on these fighters. So, with that being Agreed. said, Dask, got anything else you want to add? Nope. Perfect. All right, guys, stay tuned for the next videos. We're gonna do some more videos just like this for the other factions. So be sure to check out our page, and you'll find them there. See you guys. See ya.